The first annual Shoreline Oktoberfest is one of the most highly anticipated events this fall. Over the course of three days, there'll be authentic music and dance, food, and of course, beer and plenty of activities for the kids. Join me now from St. George's Men's Group are Andrew Horn and Jeffrey Trombetta. Nice to have you guys here. Thank you for having this us. This looks nice fantastic. I can't wait to start cooking with you. Uh, but first, tell me about the men's group, if you would. St. George Men's Group is a group of individual men, about 35 members strong, that started to do activities mm -hmm. or fun events in order to raise money and give it to the local communities. So we give all our money, 100% of our um, funds raised, to charity. All right, and I got to ask you about the uh, authentic looking costume here. Yes, this is what's called uh, Tracht or German outfit. Okay. It's, a, it's a costume. It's not really a costume, but it's a, it's a traditional German outfit that they used to wear in Bavaria. Okay. And this is part of the dance group that will be performing at the Oktoberfest. Very good. Now, where did you the, the thought come up for Oktoberfest? Well, I, I'm in a dance group and we tour all over the country. We perform in Puerto Rico, Germany. We're marching next year at the Oktoberfest in Munich, Germany. Um, so as we travel and we do these Oktoberfests, I figured the shoreline or Connecticut does not really have a, a fantastic Oktoberfest like Newport does. Mm -hmm. So we started the Oktoberfest and figured we we're going to raise a lot of money for charities. I like year. the sound of that. Now, Chef Jeff, what are we making over here? Lots of stuff going on. Okay, we are going <laughs> to have a grilled bratwurst. Okay. Okay, that's what's in here. And this is veal and pork. So we're going to grill that up. That could be served on a bun, a beautiful bun from a Whole G Bakery in Brantford. Ooh. Right, this bun that's right great. there. And, um, and also, we have raisin in our sauerkraut and some beer, some nice uh, Hofbrau House beer, <laughs> of course. It's Oktoberfest, even, yeah, you said, right? A little bit of caraway and just a little bit, a touch of sugar because we're going to put some vinegar in there. This is homemade vinegar from uh, oh. Riesling wine. Okay, just a little bit of that. Uh, and that's it. We're going to cover that up, let that brace All right. for a little bit. And we're going to have a combination plate. That's going to be a hot featuring. item, isn't there? Uh, yes, it's going to be a hot event. item. Okay. We have the, the bratwurst mm -hmm. on a little bit of authentic German bread, a dark bread, with a nice brown mustard and a potato salad, and the braised knockwurst with the sauerkraut. Let's talk about the potato salad, because I know German potato salad is uh, pretty popular. Uh, yes. So we're going to put a little bit of uh, vinegar in there. And authentically, it's made with the bacon fat. Oh. We're going to serve warm. Okay. Um, so we're just going to use a regular uh, vegetable oil, all right? And we're going to a little bit of salt, and of course, some nice red onion there, and some nice crisp bacon. There we go. And uh, we're going to put a little garlic in there. All right. And. And that's it. We're going to toss it up. Hey, you mix that and uh, tell us a little bit about some of the entertainment because I know it's for the whole family. Right. It's a family-oriented event. We have three stages, two of which are full music stages. We have 18-time Grammy Award-winning artist Jimmy Stir and the Jimmy Stir Orchestra performing. We also have Chris Cafferty from... Trans Siberian Orchestra. He's going to be doing a special guest appearance and playing with Wow, them. great. Oh, yes, unbelievable artist. Uh, and then we have full kids' activities a midway, full carnival rides. We have um, hay sack races for the kids. We have an entire kids' stage donated to the kids' activities. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds terrific. I know there's going to be some dancing because one of the troops that were on uh, Connecticut Styles performing. Correct. Uh, yep, uh, HSV Bavaria from Meriden, Connecticut will be actually performing at the event the mm -hmm. entire weekend. And we have 12 bands for the entire oh, wow. weekend. So there's full, non-stop entertainment. All right. Uh, now, how did the potato soda get the yellow color there? We missed an ingredient. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> We're about to turn off our brat. Okay. We put in some nice uh, German uh, spicy brown mustard. Mustard, okay. Okay. And so it got its color from that. And we're going to do a plate because our knockwurst should be ready right about now. now how do you know when it's done? Uh, they plump up nicely. They do, okay. They absorb the beer and uh, the flavor from the sauerkraut. And uh, you can check the internal temperature to be mm -hmm. 165 degrees Fahrenheit mm -hmm. to make sure. Uh, but you could tell. You and they could, they could sit in the moisture. For a while, huh? I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> and they could sit in the moisture. So, anyway, we're going to put uh, some kraut oh, down terrific. there. Make sure we get some bacon bits. We're going to lean that guy right up there. Oh, looks and we're going to take some uh, German bread. Maybe you could 
Which would you like? Uh, oh, the slices. slices. The yeah. slices. Here, my hands are clean. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, there's a couple of them for you. All right. Uh, well, we're setting up this plate. Andrew, tell us uh, about uh, college night and military appreciation night. Yes, Friday is college night, so anyone with a college ID, they get in for half price on the gate admission. I like that. And we're doing a special tribute for the veterans or anybody in military service on Sunday. We have mm -hmm. a special presentation at uh, 3 o'clock. Um, where we'll do a tribute to the, anyone in the military, and they also get in free on Sunday. Fantastic. So have a military ID, you can come down to fairgrounds and get in free for the Oktoberfest as a thank you for our troops. That's great of you guys. And also, uh, parking's going to be fairly easy. You're going to have shuttles. Right. We have shuttle buses from St. George's Church. Mm -hmm. Parking at the fairgrounds is $5. But the most important thing is yes. the charities that we're doing this for. Absolutely. Uh, Wounded Warrior Project is the national charity. Okay. The regional charity is the Autism Society of Connecticut. And the local charity, St. George's Church, which we have a whole, happens, bunch right? of, yep, whole bunch of charities underneath them. Well, this looks terrific. We are going to dig into some of this at the end of the show. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and again, let's put this up on the screen. The Shoreline Oktoberfest is happening October 18th through the 20th at the Guilford Fairgrounds. For a list of all the fun and festivities, go to shorelineoctoberfest.com. All right. Oh, you guys also have a Facebook page, right? We could yes, find we it do. there. Yes, we do. Facebook.shorelineoctoberfest. We'll look it up there. All right, coming up next, we'll talk to...